This math knowledge practice test question for the ASVAB and PyCat says, what percent of three-fourths is one-eighth? All right, so I'm going to rephrase this one to say one-eighth is what percent of three-fourths? And let's translate that into a statement. Again, one-eighth is in math is equal. What percent? That percent's unknown, so call it P of three-fourths. And if you want, you could rewrite this to be one-eighth is equal to three-fourths P. To solve for P, all we have to do is clear this three-fourths in front of it. That is to say, we're going to multiply both sides of this equation by the reciprocal of three-fourths, which is going to be four over three. This crosses out here and here, leaving you with P on this side. When you multiply fractions, you just multiply straight across. This becomes four times one, which is four over three times eight, which is 24. So P, in other words, is gonna be four over 24, which we can reduce by a common factor of four to make this one. Again, four divided by four is one. 24 divided by four is six. So uh, one eighth is one sixth of three fourths, but we have to convert this one sixth to be a percentage. And the way we're going to do that is via long division. Again, I could read that as one divided by six. And of course, it should be pretty obvious that I'm going to have to include a decimal and a couple of zero placeholders to do this long division. I first ask myself, how many times does six go into one? It doesn't. So I could put a zero there. That's going to prompt me to bring up my decimal. And now the question is, how many times does six go into 10 without going over? Well, that's going to be one time. Uh, six times one is six. 10 minus six is four. Again, drop down one of our zeros. How many times does six go into 40 without going over? It's going to be six times. Six times six is 36. Uh, 40 minus 36 is four. Drop down one of our zeros. How many times does six go into 40 without going over? Again, that's going to be six times. Uh, six times six is 36. 40 minus 36 is four. Drop down one of these zeros, and you can see that this is going to repeat. This is going to be 0.16666666 and so on and so forth. But as a percent, we could write this as 16.67%. So this one is going to be B.